Greetings all, the practitioner here. Two things I'd like to address today. Firstly, I'd like to apologize for not having posted the documentary I was planning to on February 9th. Unfortunately, my deadline for it got extended by the Short Film Festival a couple of weeks to February the 22nd. So what I'm going to be doing is I'll be posting it uh, probably around the 21st, 22nd, or 23rd, somewhere in there, after I submit it to the film festival. Now, that's a, now that that's out of the way, I want to address the second issue. I don't know if anybody's been paying attention to what the Axe Corporation has been doing lately, um, but they've been doing a new series of ads about uh, Leave the Earth, Come Back a Hero, uh, leave a, sorry, Leave a Man, Come Back a Hero, as they're offering a contest for uh, two lucky Canadians uh, to um, be sent down to the space, uh, space camp in uh, Florida to be trained, uh, to receive astronaut training, and then uh, for one of them to be sent up in a, uh, as a passenger in a suborbital flight. Now, the thing, of course, is the, the, way they're, um, the way they're advertising this, they've been asking Buzz Aldrin to come on and um, to talk about his going to space and compare it to this challenge, and they've been saying things like, leave a man, come back a hero. And personally, I'm a little bit pissed off about this. Don't get me wrong. Any campaign which tries to raise um, space travels, the interest in space travel in the public mind is a good idea initially. However, let me make this perfectly clear. Comparing Buzz Aldrin's going to the moon to a dilettante suborbital space flight is complete bullshit. Okay? The two are nowhere near comparable. One is uh, an actual heroic effort where one risked his life to actually do the betterment of all mankind, i.e. to travel to the moon, to do something that has been so difficult that humanity, ha you know, it's one of the most difficult things that humanity ever did. And comparing that to being a space tourist on the edge of space, to being a tourist on the edge of space, um, you know, where basically one is just a passenger, where one is not risking one's life at all, how is that being a hero? I mean, like, you know, how is one actually being a hero by being a passenger on a space or a suborbital space flight? If one can show me where the, where the person is risking life and limb for the benefit of others, I'll concede the point. Another thing that really ticks me off about this contest, they're giving astronaut training, supposedly, to uh, the two lucky Canadians who received the most votes in this contest. In order to actually get into the contest, one has to take a picture, put it on the Axe Apollo Facebook page, and then uh, one just simply tries to garner votes, and whoever gets the most votes gets to go to the space camp. Here's my problem with this. Astronautics in general is a very, very difficult program. It requires years of study in basics in science and mathematics before one even can go through the rigorous training oneself to be able to be competent for things like EVA, uh, for piloting, for you know, for all the other uh, for all the other aspects that are required uh, for repairs of spacecraft, for all the other aspects that are required for astronautics work. Now, if these people are receiving actual astronaut training, why on earth are we giving it to some random person um, whose photo is being posted and they're just getting votes? Why are we using the American Idol system to grant someone uh, the the privilege of being trained as an astronaut when we don't even know if their basic qualifications are there to they'll properly make use of the astronaut training they're getting in the first place? In other words, they're cheapening the whole idea of space travel to a popularity contest. And this I find highly, highly dangerous. It creates the impression that astronautics is just some thing like American Idol that anybody can do. Uh, you know that it's just all, or that it's just all about the popularity, and that you know all, and that all else is equal besides uh, besides the popularity contest. And you know, I mean, okay, if we're going to do this, let's do this with our doctors, let's do this with our engineers, let's do this with people who actually, like our firefighters, let's do this with people who actually put their lives on the line to actually help society. You know, I mean, firefighters receive at least a basic training. Doctors uh, take several years to complete a medical degree before going and prescribing medication or slicing someone open. Should we just put their photo on a Facebook page and have the most votes go in for that? I mean, they require a full, at least bachelor's degree and some background in science, i.e. for the MCAT, before you go into MS school. Should we completely discount uh, all of that background and just simply uh, send people to med school based on a popularity contest? I don't think so. And the same does, and the same applies to astronautics. I think that Axe Apollo's program here is completely uh, retarded, completely cheapening the whole concept of space travel, and creating the wrong impression in people's minds about how hard it is for astronauts to actually do what they do, especially for the betterment of all humanity. Now, that being said, I'm going to post the link below to AxeApollo.com where this contest is taking place. You guys can take a look for yourselves, make up your own minds, and you know what? Post a comment below and tell me what you think. 
because truth be told, I'm appalled by this, but hey, maybe you guys have some other ideas. Toodles. <laughs>